So, once more welcome back and uh, let me start with an exercise sometimes that is also good exercise. You can formulate various problem for example, the exercise is uh, form the variational formulation form the variational formulation you can have a mixed boundary condition variational formulation. So, you have a domain here omega and I will uh, divide that domain into two sets gamma naught and gamma 1 assume the measure of gamma naught is equal to positive if you do not assume that it will become a Neumann condition fully Neumann condition almost everywhere and everything is defined almost everywhere. So, any part of the boundary so you have this one. So, you can impose uh, minus Laplace in u equal to f in omega. So, you find the appropriate spaces you can do it it is actually an easy problem ok you have to only find out how to find the correct uh, space u equal to 0 on gamma naught and d u by d nu equal to 0 on gamma y. So, you see in this problem u is equal to constant if gamma 1 is something non trivial with gamma 1 has measure positive it uh, so the other one is Dirichlet. So, if gamma 1 uh, any gamma 1 u equal to constant is not a solution because u has to be 0 on gamma naught. So, the only constant solution you can add is 0 solution. So, you prove the prove well postness here you see. So, there is nothing like it. So, it is not uh, as difficult as a full Neumann condition prove well postness. And this problem will uh, make you understand how do you do interpret uh, the integration by parts etcetera. So, now I am going to do the Laplacian problem uh, and also I want to show you something how to apply sometimes babuska Berzi theory ok. Uh, so, you have a biharmonic operator this is a basically an exercise I am going to give you first part by harmonic equation this is a fourth order equation Laplacian square of u equal to f in omega and you will have two boundary condition u equal to d u by d nu equal to 0 on d omega ok. So, you have to work with the space h 2 naught of omega keep that in mind h 2 naught this is set of all u in v in l 2 of uh, v in h 2 of omega such that v equal to 0 that is equal to d v by d nu on d omega so you see. So, the exercise is give a exercise give a by linear uh, give a uh, weak formulation and both you do it prove the equivalence equivalence means one city strong solution leads to weak solution weak solution with smoothness gives you strong solution prove the equivalence. and then prove well postness well postness means existence uniqueness and then continuity estimate the continuity estimate will be in h2 space now so you have to continuity estimate will be in h2 space f in l2 omega or constant in the norm in h minus where you want to you can do that ok. So, this is a plate equation just like uh, Laplacian is a membrane equation this is uh, models uh, plate equation this models uh, plate equation and there are various boundary conditions you can use it and you can study uh, uh, weak formulation there are different types of boundary conditions you can check that there are 
we since we do not have time we cannot spend on it. There are different types of boundary condition. Boundary condition like u equal du by d nu equal you need to have two boundary conditions ok because it is the fourth order every two order you have one boundary condition. I am going to give you another weak formulation via Babuska in the form of in the form of Babuska busy, but but then you cannot immediately do that you have that busy. So, what you do is that the space which I am using is I put sigma is equal to minus Laplace n u. So, you are using h 2 that is given h 2 not rather. So, u is in Laplace and u is in L 2 of omega and uh, then your weak formulation we can write the weak you are already as an exercise you would have got a weak formulation. The same weak formulation you get and you get your omega sigma tau plus integral Laplace n of u tau over omega equal to 0 for all tau this is the same thing I am writing for all this equation substitute you get it in L 2 of omega and uh, you also have. So, you are working with the spaces because you need two spaces right working with these spaces. h 2 naught of omega and L 2 of omega. You recall the Babuska Brzee you have your h and you have your v like this. So, you have two spaces like that. So, you will have the weak formulation will give you the uh, main weak formulation will give you Laplacian of u Laplacian of v equal to f v and you are looking at u in h 2 not ok and then you also have minus sigma Laplace n of u is equal to v. So, minus sigma Lapla this implies minus sigma Laplace n of v is equal to integral of v. This is true for all v in h 2 naught ok. So, that gives you so the setting of the Babuska busy as I said you have this one setting of Babu setting of Babuska busy setting of Babuska busy Uh, so, what is h is in h uh, I have uh, reversed something probably you have to reverse something that is how the notations I may be have to reverse. So, it to match with that. So, this will be your v and this will h is in L 2 of omega and you define a sigma tau is equal to integral of sigma tau for sigma tau in h and then the other one is b tau v is equal to integral of Laplace n of v tau for all tau in h. So, this is the problem and you have uh, you can write down these two equations one equation is here other equation is here. So, this is you can indeed prove that uh, in the uh, you can see that uh, uh, the Babu's capricious conditions are thing, but there is nothing special here. There is no, uh, nothing special. We only reformulate nothing special here. 
because you are not achieving anything. You are still using your space L2, only thing is that you are writing it as a system. Okay. But that is a, the advantage is something like uh, uh, if I write it in a different way, I am going to write the same thing. So, I, I, the main thing is that I am going to uh, do an integration by parts here. You can do an integration by parts here and then I can write this problem in a slightly different way another fo uh, another form of babuska precision babuska precision okay so how do I uh, do that one so what is my h here i will take h is equal to h1 of omega in the so you see earlier it was l2 so i increase it uh, taken a h1 space on the instead of v you are taken some uh, so i call it h tilde i call it v tilde and i call it this one h1 not of omega you see so you do this way the advantage is that now we are not working with h2 we are working with thing and then the problem can be, so this can be written as an again exercise, reformulate the problem, exercise uh, uh, find from the same weak formulation, I can write this weak formulation in this way, sigma tilde u tilde in h, cro h tilde cross v tilde such that a sigma tilde z plus uh, I will uh, tell you what is it then b tilde so the b is the one I am changing it tau u tilde is equal to 0 for all tau in h tilde the same formulation do just one integration by parts minus b sigma tilde check everything is correct the computations equal to integral of f v and this is true for all v in v tilde you see okay. and so a is the same thing and what is in this case b tilde where b tilde of tau v is equal to integral of grade tau grade v. So, instead of Laplacian in the equation, I am doing this. Right. So, this is in the Babuska Brasi, uh, looks like it is in the Babuska Brasi theorem, but the, uh, the problem is that Babuska Brasi condition will be satisfied. Babuska Brasi. condition is satisfied you can verify that because it is all trivial verification there is no meaning in writing here you write it on your book. Okay. But what is not that we do not get A is a elliptic we do not get A is z elliptic okay. there is a z ellipticity condition. So, you cannot apply therefore, we cannot apply Babuska Brazil theorem. Babuska Brazil theorem. Then why do we do this if you cannot apply that one? But then there is an interesting theorem. Uh, 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 I will uh, I may not prove everything, but then I just want to write down the theorem and then I will tell you the advantage is when you are the advantage of this formulation is on its uh, numerical computations. When you are doing a numerical computations with the other formulation, you have to discretize the space H 2. 
any discretization with more and more derivatives is always difficult to discretize you uh, and you will end up with having more error. So, discretizing higher order solar spaces is generally difficult. So, uh, what you in the second formulation the thing is that if you can get solutions uh, you uh, Babuska Brzee is not giving the solution, but uh, uh, if you know this is a solution then this can be discretized because you have to discretize only h 1 spaces not h 2 spaces. So, and this theorem will help you. So, you can use the both the theorems to prove the theorem based on the first formulation and then compute the, while computing use the Babuska Brzee formulation and the theorem which I am going to state uh, will help you to do that one. But you need some additional requirement. If u is uh, uh, if the weak solution in the standard setup weak solution of the system did I mention number one more page before that yeah I told you to uh, prove somewhere uh, here is the exercise okay. If this weak solution of 1, weak solution u of 1 is in h 3 of omega. So, you need uh, that is not that much surprising you are already looking for solution is in h 2 and one more just like a regularity we will learn regularity results later. So, it will produce some regularity. So, it is not a very serious uh, regular, but it is still a regularity because the solution is obtained only in H 2. So, you see why we study later the regularity results you get solutions in H 1, but then you try to see that the solution for even for Laplacian after getting the solution look for whether it is in higher order solar spaces which will eventually get smooth solutions or it will be useful in applications. Then what is the solution here you are looking at sigma u tilde. So, that is sigma is something like a Laplacian minus Laplacian of u u that is your sigma tilde u tilde and this is in h tilde cross b tilde is the unique solution of solution of this equation ok. So, I will not uh, try to prove it uh, this one make uh, solution of 2 uh, ok all right. So, that is uh, I will leave it as a checking that exercise I will look for that ok. So, what do we do now? So, you have seen the you will see the application of Babus Kapras a little more. So, I will begin with I want to spend little time on not normally done what is called the stock system. So, far you have seen all these equations since the fourth order equation we have converted into a first order system no two second order systems uh, that is at the most you have seen by in the Babus Kapras formulation, but then I want to introduce something uh, then we continue this little more in the next class. So, just I want to introduce this stock system. So, we are only not we are not considering the Navier Stokes equation because a nonlinear equation system that is beyond the scope of this present lectures, but stock system this is a linear system ok without a uh, the nonlinear term. Okay. So, typically this is written like this minus Laplacian of u plus grade p equal to f in omega. So, let me do this one 
and then divergence of u I will elaborate on divergence operator etcetera again little bit on it is a divergence free problem. So, there is a also people call it incompressibility ok it is a these are all modeled I have fluid flow equations. So, you are putting some it is also called continuity equation. So, there are various equations and u equal to 0 on d omega. So, this is the equation do you see there are 4 equations u is equal to u 1, u 2, u 3 this is the velocity vector ok. So, I am not using the velocity the vector notation like a u bar or u hash. So, there are 4 3 unknowns ok and p is a scalar scalar which is the pressure. So, we are using the pressure. So, these are 4 equations you can see that ok. If you are seeing it for the first time is basically tells you that minus Laplace n of u i plus d p by d x i is connected through the pressure you see equal to f y yeah f equal to f y f 1 f 2 f 3 ok and f y where i equal to 1 2 3 and divergence of u what is divergence of u is nothing but summation d u i by d x i i equal to 1 2 3 is equal to 0 in omega this is also in omega and then u means u i equal to 0 on d omega or i equal to 1 2 3 ok. So, that is equation. So, call it 1 or oh, this is the one same one maybe call it 1 prime would do that even equation. So, uh, again you have to do the if you want to learn you have to do exercise that is only way to learn maths ok. Learning uh, from us is very limited. So, what you do is that you take a vector v is equal I do not write again and again first time I am writing v 1 v 2 v 3. So, we are going to look for a solution in h 1 naught of omega cube ok. This I call it x and then uh, you uh, you are given f is in uh, L 2 of omega cube. So, even if I write f is in L 2 of omega it means uh, that is the way we normally used to it we may not write that power all the time. So, multiply. So, small exercise please do this exercise multiply by yeah uh, before that uh, giving an exercise. I am going to state uh, which you can do it. The remaining part I will continue is a bit uh, thing. So, this is what is called a pressure free formulation later I will give you with pressure formulation ok. So, the pressure free formulation. So, I will take a space v here and I will put the divergence free. So, you are looking for so, if you are little bit familiar you know that how to a vector can be decomposed. So, divergence free and gradient vector these are the factors one has to learn when you are doing that one because divergence grade are some sort of an adjoint operators ok. V is equal to set of all V in x such a so the divergence condition I impose it on the space you see ok. Now, the exercise you can immediately see multiply 1 or 1 prime by v i integrate by parts by parts sum it you will get this in integral you get the weak formulation. 
So, you do the, you know this get the weak formulation and then prove back that is a thing. Uh, gradient of u keep the in mind it is each gradient of u i and then you have to sum it. So, I am putting a notation slightly differently it is not a dot product gradient oh sorry gradient of u gradient of v this is for the convenience I am putting is equal to integral of this is f dot of v that is fine. This is for all v in v ok. So, and you are looking for your u in x ok. So, uh, looking u also in uh, v that is fine ok u also in v. Okay. So, this I call it 2. And what is your grade u dot grade v? It is a dy by dxj into d. So, oh, let me write it here itself. Grade u double dot grade v is nothing but du. You submit for all ui. You have to no. do not take different uh, thing. It has to be the same i. Okay. So, do not take db dvk by dxl or something like that it comes only this one i n j. So, derive this weak formulation that is your exercise ok just derive the weak formulation. The next exercise and with that I will stop and then exercise uh, apply then it is a Laxmel grand lemma apply you ch check the various boundary thing it is in vi. So, you have the zero boundary condition. So, you can get the Pongari inequality ok. Apply uh, take the correct norms and prove that uh, uh, ellipticity it is important to prove your ellipticity a u v it is uh, slightly different, but it is uh, uh, dif not difficult difficult part is only coming apply lax milgram. So, whenever you say apply lax milgram do not just apply lax milgram make sure that the conditions of lax milgram is satisfied. So, there is a tendency apply and then apply you get it it is not that you have to prove it that to get a unique u in x satisfying to satisfying to, but that is fine then, but how do we go back and get p? Divergence of u is already obtained because divergence of u is there in the v. So, you are looking for a solution in v you can. So, you can apply the norm same h 1 naught omega cube norm. So, the norm is not changing the issue is that how do, how do we get p or how do we get p rather where is p? P is missing in the whole formulation right. By integrating by parts you have an issue because you are only integrating by parts on v. So, you are not integrating by and getting an equation in the full space to conclude the integrand is 0 in a set of distributions like d omega you do not get it you will be getting the integral is 0 only with the divergence free vectors. So, basically you will be looking on a on a orthogonal complement and then what is that orthogonal recognizing that orthogonal complement is precisely the thing uh, how to get p. So, this is uh, I do not want to do it immediately because I want you to get familiarized little bit of this one and then I will spend a little more time on uh, ok. So, we will discuss little more maybe an another lecture I will spend on this thing before proceeding to other things. So, I will stop here thank you thank you very much.